my mystics and ghouls. All right. Uh, I'm working on I'm working on an intro. I mean, that one reminds me a little bit of Carol Baskin, but it might it's it might stick. It's got a ring to it. Spiritual, goth, mystics, ghouls. I don't know. Anyway, so I am Anastasia, aka the spiritual goth. I'm trying my best to get readings out to you on a weekly basis, if not weekly, at least monthly. Today we're going to be doing a reading uh, from October, November, and December. So this will be your fall reading. And I'm going to be letting you know how what you should what you can expect, like the beginning of October, the middle, the end, beginning of November, the middle, the end, and December beginning and the middle and the end. So you'll have a pretty like well-rounded view of what is um, in the cards for you, um, so to speak. Do know that you do have free will. So anything that happens in your cards, whether positive or negative, you have the ability to change the outcome if to whatever desired outcome you would like. Um, the way this reading works is that there are three different piles here. You're going to choose one pile based on the card because I'm using three different tarot decks. Here, please choose one of the piles that most resonates with you. You can look at the crystals or the cards and choose which deck speaks to you. The first one is the Mystic Mondays deck. So if you resonate with this deck, you may have chosen um, pile number one. The second one is the Modern Witch deck. If you resonate with this deck, then you might have chosen um, Pile 2. And this is the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot deck. If you resonate with this deck, then you might have chosen Pile 3. This is... Um... And if you still need time choosing, I'm going to put another image in this video right now. So, assuming you have chosen your pile, here's how this goes. You can skip right to your pile if you just look into the description box, you will see pile number one, two, and three. Click on that and uh, you can just skip right to your reading. What I'm going to say is, if the first card in the reading just does not resonate with you at all, then check out the first couple of minutes in the other readings because even I am guilty of Kind of jumping the gun because like I really like Edgar Allan Poe so I picked that deck but that wasn't supposed to be my deck so I would recommend just listening to uh, a couple of other the other first couple minutes for the other piles if uh, the pile that you chose doesn't resonate with you because I do assure you there's a pile here for everyone you just need to figure out which one it is um so yeah I just want to also address the elephant in the room. I shaved my head. And I'm not going to lie, at first I was a little bit sad. And I was like, why did I do this? Um, a lot of myself was in my hair, you know, long green hair. But that's the thing about hair. We use it to identify ourselves. And in a future video, I'm going to talk about letting go. And I think a part of my spiritual process, a part of my spiritual awakening was me, was like me, I was meant to, to shave my head. I was meant to let go. I will tell the story later because it is uh, quite the story of how this happened. But I'm, I'm actually really happy that it happened now. And yeah, anyway, back to the reading. Um, okay, so again, skip to your reading if you'd like. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for future collective readings then please let me know in the comments and do remember do realize that this is a collective reading so some things that i say will be specific to another person while other comments that i say will be specific to the next person even if they choose the same pile because i will make sure that i am giving a, a full well-rounded um picture of what's going on through each pile. All right? 
So without further ado, here we go with pile number one. So I'm just gonna warn you, um, some mistakes were made when filming this video. So reading number one, I look different because I filmed it prior to uh, filming it now. I took a, a unfortunate break because I didn't have time to finish the video. Uh, so yeah, that one is good, but I just look different. Pile number two, I cut off my head. So you can't see my head, but um, the good the information is there and it's good information. So at least you can hear it and see the cards. And then pile number three should be fine, hopefully. Um, but yeah, just so just a warning, it's not a great video, like, appearance-wise, but, um, I'll do better next time. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in your reading. Hi, those of you who chose pile number one, this is your reading. If you chose the Mystic Mondays tarot deck as the top card from the choices, then, um, this is your reading. So... The way that this is going to go is that I have three small piles here. The first pile represents, let's say now, it's September to uh, beginning of October, maybe to mid. And then I also have mid-October and um, the end of October in here. And then I have November, the beginning, middle, and end, and December, beginning, middle, and end. So this should give you a full overview of the fall season of what you can expect how you can be prepared and anything that you might need to change now because remember even though these are what the cards are saying you still have free will to change your situation um also remember this is a general reading for lots of people so please just take whatever resonates with you and whatever does not resonate with you will probably resonate with the next person, all right? Um, another thing that I want to point out, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, there are some times when I even do other people's pick of cards and I, I'm like, oh, it doesn't really sound like me. So at the beginning of this reading, like when I start the first deck, if it doesn't sound like your situation right now, I would recommend that you skip to the other two piles and listen to the first five minutes, see if it does resonate with you. Sometimes we still pick the wrong ones, but you should definitely go with your uh, intuition and your gut. I'm not sure, um, maybe we're just like really liking um, <laughs> what this looks, this design, but really our mind's telling us to pick another one. I'm not sure, but anyways, I just want you to um, choose the card, the, the deck that actually really speaks to you from the beginning. Okay. All right, let's get started. Okay. So the first two cards, as I stated, is now through the end of September to the middle of October. So we have now until mid-October. The first card we have is the Six of Swords reversed. The second card that we have is the Chariot. So the Six of Swords reversed it's showing me that now, and it, maybe this is seasonal changes, maybe this is um, retro reads, maybe like this, there's something that is making you feel stuck right now, something that is making you feel like you are probably going back to some old patterns um, that no longer serve you. So maybe you're mustering up some feelings from the past that you thought you were over but you're not and they're just coming back to kind of uh haunt you right now in the sense of you are not really in having a positive mindset maybe towards others maybe towards your situation in general i'm just seeing i'm feeling a lot of heaviness here a lot of like um honestly negativity just like feeling like, you don't want to make changes in your life because you don't know how to, and you're really comfortable. That's what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling that you need to let go of something, and there's something that's been uh, really on your mind, and it's been troubling you, 
and you've been unable to move forward no matter how hard you're actually trying. But the, the fact is that there's a lot of hard work that goes into trying to let go of whatever it is that is keeping you in this like negative, um, heavy uh, energy because that's what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling a bit of like, just, just feeling stuck. Like maybe you're like, wow, I thought I was, I thought I was done being angry over things like this, or I thought I was done um, feeling resentment towards someone for this. Like something's coming back right now and it's, it's really got you and you are in just a place where you need to um, evaluate where this, this, these negative feelings are coming from and how you can move forward, all right? So that's where you're at now, and like over the next like week, you're going to be dealing with this. Good news is that um, October, the beginning of October, you are going to begin to do some reflection and you're going to start looking within and you're going to start realizing that you do have the ability to set yourself free from whatever resentment or, or fear or like ha hatred that you're holding uh, inside. You're going to let yourself go and you're going to be in a place where you are just like free, feeling free from your from your mind. Because uh, right now I'm feeling just like you're, you're like I said, you're stuck. You're like captured <laughs> by yourself. And there's like a little room in your head that you're trying to like get out of, but you can't find the key. But you will find the key, and the sun is here, so there's a bright there's a, a bright end of the tunnel for you. Um, but the chariot is really about just like finding that inner inner connection to source to light and letting go. Okay, so there's a lot of just like having to let go that you um, that you need to go through and experience. Um, and in doing that, you can do some shadow work, you can do some meditations, there are a lot of ways that you can let go, just make sure that you are actually dealing with the situation that you're facing, and not putting it in the back burner and ignoring it until it gets worse. Um, I'm going to pull some oracle cards just to get a little bit more clarification here. where you have to find some of the inner strength that you once had that just feels a little bit lost right now. Um, you're feeling like you have, you don't have the inner strength, but you're not realizing that you do. And you have really um, grown a lot from, from the way that you were at the beginning of this year, at the start of the pandemic. You have shifted, you have grown. I'm also saying financial health. Maybe you're worried about your finances, but you don't need to be. This card is saying you do not need to be worried about your finances. It could also be saying for the for other people who don't resonate with that, um, make sure that you are, you could be feeling stuck. So there are two things that this card could mean. One, you could be feeling stuck and have money blocks um, where you are worrying about money but not realizing that you don't need to. So you're, the fact that you're worrying about money is kind of keeping it away from you. Um, that's the one, the one hand. And then the other hand is that you actually need to pay attention to your finances. Maybe you're not worried about money, but you should actually be planning, um, doing some financial planning and making sure that you're on the right track. So I would say, regardless of where you're at, budget and see where you're at. Just look at it realistically. And if you don't really need to worry about money, then, then try to relinquish that, let go. You could be feeling stuck stuck in uh, having money blocks to not get more money because you're stuck or you could be feeling stuck because you are um, not paying attention to your finances. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, so we have family. So some of you guys might be worried about family. Some of you guys might be um, trying to, um, needing to connect with your family right now. There's, there's definitely something that, that is showing, okay, so what I'm, what I'm seeing is that, like, some past issues with family 
are kind of coming up right now. Maybe uh, things from childhood that you thought you were over, but they're, they're, they're resurfacing. Something about your fa- like childhood um, is coming back. Reasons There are reasons why you're feeling stuck, and it has a lot to do with your upbringing. It could have to do with like um, feeling uh, isolated as a child, so now you're starting to feel that again. Feeling like you might have like abandonment issues from childhood, and they're coming back again. Something from childhood I would definitely explore is coming back and um, it's it's kind of bleeding into different areas of your life, but you do need to realize that you have strength, um, make sure that you're checking your financial health, and uh, make sure that you guys are, are realizing that this is only a temporary time. You need to let, there's something from your childhood that you need to let go of um, in order to move forward and really be the chariot. You don't know how, much, how many times like even if you're having issues with a friend right now or a partner, that could be those issues could be stemming from childhood. So I would definitely look into that for you. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get let's get a moonology card since we're in the the new moon right now. All right, this one just came out. Show the world the new the real you. Show the world the real you. So yeah, just like. I would say that now is the time for self some self discovery. Um, don't be afraid of who you are. Full moon in in Aquarius. That's what's here. Um, maybe you are an Aquarius. Maybe you need to embody um the characteristics of an Aquarius right now. But I would say um, now is the time to really just look inward. I'm seeing a lot of shadow work that needs to be done here. A lot of letting go. A lot of self love. Um, in order to move forward into a place where you are satisfied and happy with yourself. Okay, let's move on to... Oh, one second. One more thing. So I got this really cool crystal oracle deck in my goddess provisions box. Um, I'm going to put a link at the bottom where you guys can check out goddess provisions because the boxes are just, like, amazing. This is... Uh, this came in my box, and it's a chakra balancing, um, hanging thingamajigger. Uh, but they, I have so many great things from their boxes. I did an unboxing on my, um, on my Instagram stories, um, I think IGTV actually. So you could check out their, the box that I got two months ago, but I'm just in love with them. So, uh, what I'm doing right now is I am, um shuffling this deck to figure out what what which crystal could help you in the month of um, September October while you're doing all of this work while you're doing all of this work right now what crystal could help you so we have ocean jasper um, this is a crystal of renewal so if I were you I would try to find a um, an ocean jasper crystal maybe online maybe go to your local metaphysics crystal shop and uh see if you can find it because i think that will it will it will help to give you a renewal of energy and make you feel i'm seeing like just a new fresh start that needs to be made here um you've done a lot of work in the past to get to where you're at and things are just coming back up for you it's time to to kind of feel renewed that sense of renewal that you probably felt a couple months ago but now um you're you might be feeling a bit lost again okay so that was uh, the beginning of October, late the end of September. Now let's move on to the middle of October. So the middle of October, we have temperance. Um, once you do your shadow work, once you um, kind of release that and let go, you need to find a balance. You need to try to balance everything that you've learned, balance your feelings, balance your energy. I would say meditate, um, keep some chakra colors around you work with color magic try to to keep um some some bright i don't know some like um let's see try to like keep some red on you for like your root chakra make sure that everything's in balance do some chakra meditations um if you're unsure of how to to go about this send me a message i will always give resources out to people who ask me um for them you're just the the middle of the month is is going to require you learning how to balance um uh, like just your 
your life, your energy, your um, relationships, everything. Just find some way to keep yourself centered um, in the middle of the month. I think you're going to need it. And once you do that, towards the end of the month, you will find that your, um, your intuition with the High Priestess has strengthened. I'm seeing, I'm really feeling a lot of psychic energy here. It feels like there's some psychic, empathic um, energy in this reading. Like, maybe you're kind of not protecting yourself psychic, uh, your energy right now. So that's why things are starting to come back up and you, you need to let go so that you can find some balance, center yourself, and, and really increase your intuition um, and really uh, become more of a person who trusts in, in yourself and like someone who is actually able to move forward through the lens of someone who has been there, done that, and is super trusting of themselves and is ready to take on whatever comes at them because they realize that they have a support system uh, with them. And that support system are your guides, your ancestors, your uh, star family, whoever it is that is helping you along in this ride. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot of psychic energy here. And this is a card that represents you just getting more in touch with yourself. And you cannot do that until you put in some of the hard work and um, and figure out what it is from the past that you need to let go of. So now um, I'm going to pull a an affirmation card for you. So here's an affirmation card to get you through the month of October. Feeling you. All right. Hope is the conduit for miracles. So just remember to always have hope. Always think positive. Always be someone who is a flower. Realize that you are a flower. Recognize that you are always blooming, constantly blooming. You need to water the flower every now and again. You need to give it light every now and again. You're not one of those low light flowers that can just sit in the corner. You have to go out there and and do some like come out of the shadows, get some light, and go back in. That's that's the kind of person that you are. Um, so this is what's going to hopefully give you some um, some attention, make, like allow you to bring attention to the areas right now that are kind of holding you back from really just like bringing light into your life. I hope that this helps you um, to figure out how you should go about the next uh, month and a half, okay? So that was September, October, complete. And now let's move on to November. All right, so for November, here's what we've got. We've got the 10 of wands reversed. We've got the Ten of Swords. I like this deck because it says everything is fine because it looks a little bit scary. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So there's a lot of energy here. I'm honestly going, because like I said, you have free will. Um, I'm going to take this reading as a warning if you don't. Um, do some of that shadow work now and let go because it looks like things are just going to get a little bit progressively worse um, for you. So we have the Ten of Wands, which is a card that is um, upright. It's showing a girl who's just carrying way too much on her back. There's too many burdens um, that she's dealing with. But if you have it reversed, then this means that you will be carrying some resentment towards someone or um situations at the beginning of the month i'm definitely feeling um some heaviness coming back and i mean i know that we're transitioning to fall so it, it could be also just like seasonal and situational but i'm just feeling a lot of um like heaviness and some negativity coming back uh if you if the shift isn't made if you're not learning how to to balance your energy balancing your emotions if you're not taking time to meditate and really do some self-reflection, um, then you will be bearing resentment and uh, and feeling uh, even betrayed by some people who you thought you could trust. Um, that's, it's just something that you are 
going to have to to figure out like where this resentment is coming from how can you enter situations through a an aspect of love how can you enter and um how can you think rewire the way that you think about situations so that they can be more positive okay um the that's the beginning of november mid-november we have ten of swords everything is fine so this one is just showing that like you're you're there's too much there's too much on your mind you're feeling betrayed this this card literally means feeling backstabbed i think that during this reading here i'm feeling just like pay attention to your relationships um, let go of any relationships that are not serving you. If you feel that you're pulling a lot of the weight in a relationship and someone is not, um, there for you and someone is not trying to really, um, be there for you and treat you, like, to the, to your greatest and highest good, then it's okay to let go. I'm just feeling like if there's someone in your life who is making you feel, um, resentment, feel, like, different negative emotions then maybe it's time to evaluate that friendship if it's something that's worth saving then you you work on it and you save it right but if it's something that is if it's someone that is maybe constantly leaving you feeling um negative or like when you hang out with them they just kind of suck all of your energy away like evaluate that friendship evaluate that relationship and take a step back and kind of figure out like what you need um it's okay to take a step back sometimes. I'm really just feeling that you, at, at this point, are going to need to take a step back and evaluate your relationships and see what's working for you and what's no longer serving you. Um, as for the end of November, it looks like your attention is going to go towards work. Um, it's going to go toward, like, from these issues and you're just going to be working really hard and this could also mean that you're working really hard to mend your relationships but i'm feeling it's more of a um of a a work thing you're trying to better yourself and i'm hoping that this isn't a i'm going to not deal with all these other issues so i'm going to work hard um because i'm kind of getting that vibe a little too i'm gonna i'm gonna work really hard so that i can just i'm gonna work more so that i can avoid dealing with whatever issue it is that I'm, i have to deal with here I'm really urging you to to deal with these issues, to, again, feel, figure out what you need to let go of. Figure out um, whether or not your relationships are still serving you and try to move forward um, in a way that is positive and beneficial to you. So let's pull some Oracle cards here. I'm really fine. I really do think that you have some psychic abilities, a high intuition, and you do have to realize that you have the ability to manifest. So if you are manifesting, you have to stay in a high vibe state. You have to stay in a positive, high vibe state where you are, um, like letting go of of things. Right? You have to be aware of ego. You have to be um, in a place where you are able to sustain uh, an energy that is comparative and on the same level as the energy of the universe which is it's light and it's love um there definitely is going to be some issues with relationships and because i have reconciliation here something that it feels like something that you will want to reconcile it, it's not someone that you would want to let go of um but there definitely is going to be a time to to for reconciliation and one really really important thing to know all three of these cards have moons in them so moon always represents like shadow work uh some parts of your shadow self that need to come to light or even some uh thing some things that are just not truthful that need to come into light there's something that needs to come into light here like 100 percent. and um these cards are, are telling you that there's like there's some magic um, that that will come out of this once you once you you 
bring these things into light, you will see that you are going to be manifesting positive things for yourself. And I think that's why we have um, working hard because once you get over this, it feels like this might be affecting your work life. Once you get over this, then you'll be able to work um, with a very clear mind and you'll be able to um, manifest things very easily for yourself. So this is this is good, but it's just like there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. But you'll um, honestly like knowing this, it's uh, it's it's going to, it's very beneficial to you because like I said you have free will so knowing this how can you go about your month um, in a way that is more uh, positive and beneficial to you. I'm going to pull a moon allergy card. <laughs> adjustments are required so yeah it's just time to do some shadow work um and look within yourself i will be doing a video on shadow work coming up real soon i have so many ideas for videos but so many ideas and so little time so be patient with me but everything i'm talking about letting go shadow work manifestation i will um make a video on and also like increasing your psychic abilities your intuition um this is something that you guys are just uh you you really have a strong intuition it just feels like you haven't been listening to yourself lately all right so moving on to december our first card is the hermit which is my one of my favorite cards in the tarot because it really just represents your needing to take a step back take some time for yourself and evaluate your life what what in your life is working what is not working reflect on you're you're probably at this point going to need to reflect on everything that happened to you in October and November. Um, those are really busy months for you. I'm definitely seeing in December, by, by December, things are starting to look up for you, but it just feels like October and November are going to be so much. It's going to be so much for you to deal with, like, emotionally, and, um, and you're going to energetically need to take a break and take a step back from society and really just, like, look, um, do some inward, uh, just healing and and just spend some time alone be be by yourself um allow yourself to really see the progress that you have made it's going to take a lot of progress for for you to get from here to december um but you're going to do well and here's why i know that because you have the uh seven of pentacles for mid december and this card is representing you watching this money tree here it's um you watching all of your hard work grow in abundance and you seeing that like all of the hard work that you've put in the rest of the year is paying off okay so so december is a really good month for you but um it's going to take a lot of work to get to this point where you're able to to just sit back and watch all of your hard work all the seeds that you're planting grow um and so at the end of december you're going to be reminded that you need you need balance you've got temperance again so this is showing me that you are someone who always needs to keep your energy balanced. I really think you take on too much of other people's energy and it just feels as though you are someone who is empathic. Um, I wear this black tourmaline bracelet all the time. I actually have so much black tourmaline because I am an empath. Um, I have been an empath since I was a kid. Another video I will make um, where I can always feel someone's energy. If someone walks into the room, I can feel if they're happy or sad or excited or anxious. I can feel it. And sometimes if I'm not protected, I will take on that person's anxiety and I will feel it. And all of a sudden I'm like, why am I so anxious? Why am I so like, uh, like sad? Or why am I so angry? Like that, that is something that won't happen if you're protected. And one of the best crystals to protect yourself is, um, black tourmaline. So I have raw here. I have, um, this beautiful piece here. And then I just got this piece in the mail actually today from Gem Goddess, who is my favorite YouTuber. Um, I recommend her videos to all of my clients in their readings. Um, she makes, she does pick a card. She talks about all the stuff I'm talking about, but she also makes jewelry, hence the name Gem Goddess. So if I were you, I will um, check the description box. I'll, I'll link to her black tourmaline bracelets. It really just protects your energy and it helps to keep you grounded, keep you centered. Um, I'm just feeling a lot of just like, this card is saying, remember, pay attention to yourself, stay centered, remain balanced, 
and everything will be fine for you. These Marvel cards. Okay, so we have light in your load. So, um, I feel like when, when you get to the part of the point of the hermit, when you need to take a step back, that's take a step back from everything. Lighten your load. You've taken on a lot, a lot the next couple months. Make sure that you are, um, in a position where you are not overwhelming yourself. Take a step back, retreat. Um, we have the holidays coming up in December. Uh, for me, I'm a teacher, so it's really easy for me to just like, I, I have winter break, but find, take some holiday days, take some time for you to, um, to try to figure out how you can find some alone time and, uh, lighten your load. We have financial health again. So again, like, I think, I think this time it means like you're doing well financially because you're, you're watching the, uh, seven of pentacles, you're watching your hard work kind of grow all the seeds that you're planting they're growing in abundance you're financially by the end of by december you're going to be in a really good place a really good place to take action new moon and aries so yeah aries is all about taking action all about kind of just like impulsively doing whatever you think is best for yourself watch for a video from my channel um for the spring um and we can figure out how to plan from there but it just feels like a lot of planning is going to have to happen at the end of the month in december um plan out how you want your year to be manifest Figure out how you can um, actually utilize everything that you learned this year and um, and kind of just like grow. Like you, there's a lot of growing that you're going to be doing this year, but it's going to pay off. Next year is going to be so good for you. Um, I'm going to end with an affirmation card for you. Ending out the year with an affirmation. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So, the the universe wants you to succeed. The universe wants you to be in a place where you are just balanced and filled with love and um, using your intuition and just like in a really strong, strong-centered place. So, find your cent find your um, temperance find your balance uh balance your energy out and honestly like you will find that that you will be very successful okay so i know this is a lot this is a lot there's a lot of hard work that's going to be put into this um reading but you um and into these next couple months but you will you will do fine i really 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 appreciate you watching this this is my first time doing a um a couple of months like that so i hope that you find found this to be helpful if you need to go back take notes um and then journal about it figure out like what it is that might be holding you back and what you need to let go of what shadow work needs to be done um i'm really just seeing a lot of uh great things in your future i do have a lot of resources for people who chose this pile so you can message me on at instagram um, uh, that is at the spiritual goth. You can DM me there. You can message me in the comments to, uh, like this video if you'd like more of these. And I really just appreciate you watching this. I will see you in the next video. So for pile number two, I cannot believe that I did not check the camera and I chopped partial of my head off. So please just bear with me here. The information is good, you just can't see my entire head. It's okay. Next time, I will do better. Anyway, let's get on with the reading. Hello group two, so if you chose the Modern Witch Tarot design as your card, then that means that you chose panel number two, and now I'm going to take you through your reading. So this is your fall reading, we have our October pile, November pile, and December pile. 
as I'm going through the cards, I will occasionally pull some oracle cards just to give you a fuller picture of what is to come. And let's get started. So the way that I kind of uh, set this out, laid this out, is that the first card is going to represent your the beginning of the month. So the beginning of October, this is like where you are at right now. The second card represents the middle of October, and then the third card is going to represent the end of October, all right? So the first card here that we have is the Nine of Pentacles, which is a great card. This card represents a girl who is, well, a person, a person who is seeing all of their hard work come to fruition and blossom in abundance so they've planted all of these seeds and all of these seeds are growing and they're really happy like the plans that were set into uh action are now coming true it's like this person has worked really really hard to get to where they're at and they're finally at a place where they're like wow i did all this i accomplished that so right now is probably a really happy time for you like a time for like to rejoice and like bask in in all the amazing things that you've done and really just feel proud of yourself and happy like you have built this this like a solid foundation for yourself and you're you're seeing all of your hard work come into play and that's not even i don't even mean just in terms of like career and finances i mean also in terms of like maybe you've done a lot of emotional work to get to where you're at, where you are at right now and you're seeing it pay off um, it just feels like a very, like, happy, content, like, joyous time for you. Um, and I'm really feeling this. This vibe feels great. So, the middle of October, in the next couple weeks, you may be plagued with a decision to make. Two of Swords. This decision is going to be a tough one. I'm going to pull out a card to see what it might be, uh, towards, but it feels like... You're going to get to a point where you're kind of stressed out because you don't know what to do. You're deciding between two either really great things or two things that um, both seem beneficial to your life or, or to people even, to jobs, to careers, to something. Uh, let's see. I will draw a clarifying card. Okay, this card flew out, so definitely it. Partnerships and alliances. It's like you're caught in the middle of two different, between two people. And um, there's going to be some sort of um, situation where you don't want to make a decision because you feel like you're going to, make by making a decision, you're choosing a side. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to choose sides. So you're going to, what you're going to do is um, you're going to end up withdrawing and you're going to need some solitude in order to really come out of this um situation on top but i'm it's feeling like you're going to withdraw and you're going to um really like just want to be alone and when you're alone and when you're already stuck in this like fears and anxieties of having to decide something big for yourself your mind can go to a pretty dark place so i do want to say that um in, at the end of november we have the sun reversed. In this card, the sun, it represents like feeling like everything's all doom and gloom, right? So we have the sun, it's vibrant, it's light, it's happy, it's fun. But when it's reversed, there's some clouds there, right? Clouds are, are um, kind of looming over you and you can't see the sun, right? They're blocking the sun. So your the sunlight that you had at the beginning of the month is going to feel like it's been drained from you. It feels like you're a bit of an empath. So you're someone who can be easily drained by other people. I tell people all the time, it's really important to protect your energy. You do this th through visualization, literally imagining the other person and cutting the cord um, between you and that person so that you don't feel emotionally attached anymore um you can do this by keeping crystals around you like um black tourmaline or tiger's eye um there are a lot of protective crystals that you could have around you 
in order to protect your energy. It just feels like there's a lot of energy that needs to be protected here. And when you do get to the sun, when you think when I think of the sun reverse, I think of the moon. And the moon is all about dealing with your unconscious thoughts, your unconscious desires, whatever is troubling you and is making you feel like you're in the dark. Um, that is going to come to light. That needs to come to light, sorry. And um, in order to do that, you need to do shadow work. That is letting the shadow parts of yourself come out. And as I always tell people, make friends with your shadow self. Figure out, tell them that you don't need them anymore, right? So that's kind of the way that I see your shadow self. It's the part of your, it's the hidden parts of yourself that like come out every now and again and we just shove it back inside. No, you want to expose all these shadow parts and you want to deal with them. You want to talk to them. You want to see what's up, why they're still there. And then eventually they they never go away completely. You're always going to be doing shadow work. But um, at this point, at the end of October, you're definitely going to be in the place where you're going to need to examine yourself. Like, yes, you've worked really hard to get to where you're at, but are you really happy? That's kind of what I'm seeing in this reading. Um, there's just a sense of like being really happy because of all the material things that you have um, and because your hard work is paying off, but but not being like actually fulfilled emotionally. Like there's there's something lacking that needs to be explored in the month of October, all right? Leaving you with a an affirmation card for the month of October. So much energy right now. Don't know what it is, you guys have a lot of energy. I am in awe of the magnificent guidance that is available to me. So this card is literally telling me that like, also, if you have any issues, ask your guides. Talk to your spirit guides, channel them, meditate, sit and like, ask them questions, ask them for signs, ask them for guidance and help. They will be there for you. Okay, so in November, the beginning of the month, after you've done all your shadow work and now you're like ready to move on. You might still be in a place where things aren't going as quite as planned uh, as you would have hoped they'd go. And I think that's because shadow work takes time. It's not like you can do shadow work and then uh, in the next two weeks you're going to be fine. That's that's not how it works. Um, so at the beginning of November, you might be dealing with... Um, other people trying to pull you in different directions. This is the five of wands. Five generally rep represents uh, instability and like uh, chaos and, uh, and, and sudden changes that are just like, un you don't want changes that you don't really want. So I would say definitely make sure that you're dealing with uh, the emotional side of yourself, which seems like it's, it's really going to be coming out um, towards the end of this month. And then at the beginning of next month. And when, when you learn how to deal with your own emotions and you're able to approach other people in a very um, content, calm, relaxed manner, right? Like you wanna be kind of gracious in the way that you deal with other people. If you're okay with yourself, then other people can't really have that much of an influence on you. So I'd say be careful with um, how you interact with people in the beginning, at the beginning of November. Make sure that you are hanging out with people who have your greatest good um, in, uh, in mind. Like the people who are just like, they care for your well-being and they want to see you succeed and they want to see you flourish. Because um, it's going to be a time where you're just, you're kind of feeling a little bit um, like, like things are kind of falling apart a little bit. And it feels like your social life. That's what it feels like. Uh, let's see if I can get any other thing else. So we have authority. So maybe like issues at work, issues with parents, maybe like um, someone, someone just who is, uh, who you might respect, you might have an issue with, and other people are trying to like get involved. So again, partnerships and alliances. So the next few months are going to be really, it's going to be really important for you to pay attention to your, uh, the, your social circle. And seeing a, a lot of issues arise um, in the way that other people interact with you and the way that you interact with other people. So just make sure that you are, like I said, protecting your energy and doing some inner work so that you can see what, um, like, 
how you can navigate these situations in a way that befit is be beneficial to you befitting i don't know all right so we have stand your ground so no matter what some someone or people are going to try to influence you no matter what you have to stand your ground you have to stand up for yourself take charge of the situation you are in control of your own life so remember that remember that no one else is in control you are in the driver's seat so this is the beginning of October and let's see if uh, the middle, uh, November, let's see if the middle gets a little bit better. But also like whatever's happening for you in the next couple months, it's supposed to happen. There's a lesson for you to learn here. All right. So now we have the six of swords. This is a great, 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 great card for you. The Six of Swords represents moving away from the chaos. You're leaving the past behind. You're moving on. It feels like at this point, you've stood your ground. You have navigated these social relationships. And you have um, you've moved on. You've moved on. You are literally... I like the Rider Waite version of this card because it shows like murky waters and then... Uh, this person's on a boat kind of like swimming away from the murky waters into still water. So you're literally like leaving the chaos behind, leaving uh, all of the issues that were in the past and plaguing you um, in order to pursue like contentment and like a high, like be in a high vibe state. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. So like I said, you're kind of just going to need to come into yourself next month and figure out like how you're going to navigate your social life and the environment in a way that is going to allow you to grow. So the decision that you have to make in October feels like that decision has to do with your relationships also because I'm just seeing that so much in your reading here. Um, so I would definitely say that whatever decision you do decide to make, it needs to be like a decision that comes from you not from anyone else, because it looks like other people are trying to influence you um, in a way that isn't in your best interest. It's like they want something from you or um, they want to control you or manipulate you. It just feels something is definitely off, but just make sure that you are you are sticking to your beliefs and your values. All right, so interesting at the end of november we have the lovers card and this card represents a spiritual union between two people so maybe you're making a decision between a partner and your friends don't like that partner or your parents don't like your partner or something let me get some clarifying cards there's something here but the lover's card is a great card if you're, like, looking for a relationship. Or that can just be, like, you coming into a relationship with yourself. Like, a blossoming, great relationship with yourself. Because you're now learning how to stand your ground. You're now learning how to, um, be... Ah! The version of yourself that you want to be... That you want to be with. Okay, so yeah. We have boundaries. You've learned how to create boundaries and set boundaries in your relationships. So it feels like the lover's card is, is um, you coming into yourself. We also have grieving. So maybe there might be some issues um, with you just like grieving uh, relationships that seem as though they're they might feel like they're ending, but that's because you're growing. And um, I love the butterfly and images because that just means that you're transforming. There's a transformation that is happening here. So this isn't bad. This is good. I feel like the lover's card is either, for some of you, that could be a, an actual partner that you're coming into. But for most of you, um, and then you've, like, you've developed boundaries with this person. Um, maybe some of you guys are having issues with your partner now and then... Once you develop those boundaries, you'll come back together or you are just like coming into yourself and learning how to love yourself. And that could be um, for some of you as well. So that is November. 
Okay, now we have December. So in December, we have the Eight of Wands first. This is your beginning of December card. This card represents any obstacles that you have faced the last two months. They are now being removed. You're kind of like she is on a motorcycle. She is ready to go. We have forward movement. Um, the eight cards always means like just like making some movement to a new direction. So maybe your 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 life is shifting. Like I said, there's a transformation that is happening here. And um, this card is really just representing, like, you coming into yourself as, like, as a spiritual being and as, as an adult. It feels like you might be someone who is either a little bit younger or just, like, I mean, everyone has time to grow, so maybe not. But um, it, just, it just feels like there's, there are a lot of changes that are happening in your life. And these are really good changes. You kind of have to get through the hard Figure out who's in your life for the right reasons. Figure out who has your best interests at heart. And then you move on and then you find your people. And then you end up being um, in a position where you are happy and content. And in that in that contentment, you are able to just like kind of be, you feel free. And you're able to move on. You're able to move forward. And um, you only hang out with people who have your best interests at heart. Um... And I would say in the at the beginning of December, that's how you're going to feel. You're going to feel really happy with yourself. You're going to feel in a really good place. Um, so this is good. So in the middle of December, you have the uh, Seven of Pentacles again, but it's reversed. So my advice to you is... It just looks like there's still some work that you're going to need to do at this point. And you're going to be in a position where it feels like nothing that you're doing is paying off. It feels like you're kind of just like the hamster running on a wheel and um, and it's just never ending. It feels like your life is going to need to take a new direction in all areas of your life. Like there's a new career on the horizon for you here. It feels like what you're doing isn't working for you anymore. What once made you successful now in October and made you feel successful isn't going to make you feel successful in December. That's because you did you put in a lot of work in October and November. So now you're kind of like a changed person. And you're going to see that even your, your career uh, views are going to change. Even the things that you thought you wanted to do in your life aren't looking like promising to you anymore they're not fulfilling to you that's what it, it feels like you're um you're going to be in need of clarity right that means i would say some more shadow work is is due in, in the middle of no of december figure out what it is that you want because something else is, is happening um you're going to need to switch shift to a new direction um let's see if i can get to any idea um, ooh, travel, like, maybe, maybe, like, maybe, like, I've worked so hard, and all I've been doing is working my butt off, and I haven't even been able to, like, travel, or, I mean, we're in a pandemic now anyway, but it just, it feels like, travel could also mean movement, like, there's just, there's something else that you should be doing, um, and what you're, what you're doing now just might not be it. So we have financial and material changes. Yeah, it's time it's time to time to try something new. What you're doing right now isn't going to work for you in December. And that's okay because that just means that um you're going to grow even more. So I would say think about what you want your life to look like next year. And uh the middle of December is going to be a time of uh, abundance planning for you. It's going to be a time of trying to figure out what it is that you want out of next year and manifest it try to figure out which direction you want your life to go to and don't count on the old tactics that you've used in the past that didn't pay off for you make sure that everything you're doing is in your best interest and for your greatest good um make sure that you are doing what you love no matter what it is that you decide to change in your life make sure that it's something that you love um, the future card, 
So this is end of December, like right before New Year's. This card sounds scary to everyone, but it's actually the greatest card you can get in the tarot. One of them. Death. So you have death at the end of December. That doesn't mean you're going to die. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't. What it actually means is that you, the things that are no longer working for you are going to die. So bad habits are going to die. Bad routines are going to die. Things that do not serve your life in a positive manner are going to die. And I'm saying things, not like people. <laughs> so if you are in the, the middle of December and you're like, I want to get a new job. I really don't like my job. I'm making enough money, but like I can't do it because I'm not going to, I'm just going to fail. With this death card, it's showing me that that thought pattern, those negative thought patterns are going to die. When something dies, something else is reborn. So something has, so, okay, something has to die for um, something else to be reborn, right? So, Old habits, old thought pro patterns, old things that just do not serve you and are not for your greatest good are going to die and you will be transformed into a new person. So that is what the death card is showing me. There are a lot of changes that you're going to be going through in the next couple months, but it really does feel like what you're going to go through is more on the spiritual side. So if you're not spiritual or... Um, I want to say spiritual, not religious. Uh, if, you're, if you're not spiritual yet, I would say look into spirituality. Um, there's definitely a lot of growth that's going to happen here. And if you're not spiritual, then you're probably not watching my channel. <laughs> it's all about spirituality. Um, but I do see just a lot happening in your in your reading. And a lot of good is going to come out of it. Even though it, it's going to take a lot of work to get to um, this place. Honestly, you got the same card. I am in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. Meaning, ask your guides. Ask your spirit guides for help. There's something that you're supposed to be doing that is in your destiny. And it's time to sit and ask for help. You have guardian angels. You have spirit guides. You have a lot of spiritual guidance around you to help you. Um, and listen to your intuition Follow your heart, follow your gut, and um, trust me, you will do fine. Things will work out perfectly well for you. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you got some clarity um, and gained some valuable information from this. I do want you to um, just have the greatest experience for the next couple months, and if I can prepare you in any way for what is to come, then um, I've I've really done my job and I'm really happy about that. If you have any questions um, and would like to delve deeper in this reading because it resonated with you, feel free to send me a message. You can go to my Instagram at the spiritual goth on Instagram. Sorry, I have braces on, so like when I say the th, it just doesn't come out right. But it's G O T H, even though you know because you're on my channel. Um, you can message me on Instagram or go to my website and uh, message me there. And we can set up a personal reading. Um, I would love to help you out. I will be posting more videos like this very soon. Um, so if you'd like to see them, please like and subscribe. Also, please let me know in the comments what resonated with you. And um, yeah, it's really nice to have you watch this reading today. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Hello, pile number three. Stylistically, this is not the best video that I've ever put out. Great information, but in pile number two, my head was cut off. So I, I hope that my iPhone is doing a good job in actually getting my head in this video. Um, anyway, pile number three, you chose the Edgar Allan Poe deck. This is the, po the uh, deck that resonated with you. So this is your reading. I am going to go through the next three months, starting with this month, October, November, December, and um, I will tell you what you might be going through right now, how that will kind of develop over the month, 
and um, what that the outcome of the month is going to look like, and I'll do that for all three cards. Throughout this reading, I will also be pulling tarot, uh, sorry, oracle cards, and these oracle cards will just give us a little bit more information on your situation, and I really hope that you gain all the clarity that you possibly need in this reading. All right, so let's get started. For our first pile, um, October, we have the Five of Swords. That's now to like the middle of October. The King of Pentacles, middle of October to end of October. And King of Swords reversed, end of October. So the Five of Swords is a card that's not really the best, um, place to be in because the five of swords represents like instability feeling like mentally like your mind is just like clouded with like chaos there's some mental chaos there um you're just feeling like like this dude is like literally um like cut in pieces he's like he he's like ripped apart so to me the five of swords is like feeling as though like you are stuck in conflict with yourself and with other people so there could be um outside influences that are just like not going well um in your like social environmental in the social environmental department there could also be um people who are just seemingly do not have your be best interests at heart um and there's something that you just need to overcome right now. It just feels like like your life is just a little bit crazy. Um, and you're not feeling, you don't feel like you can like really stand, uh, get your foot in to like the right door right now. It feels like you're just like stuck on an island and you're like trying to figure out how to get off. Like there's definitely something more going on that that is like, outside of yourself right now it feels beyond you like maybe there there's some things that you can control and then there's some things that you cannot control i'm going to pull clarifying cards um just so that i can have a little bit more information So for the five of swords um just like our last people we have partnerships and alliances so of course, so we of course we are moving into a full moon in Aries right now, and in Aries we have like, you know, Aries is a very aggressive sign. We have um, aggression and hostility and like power, right? Um, so it feels like you're coming, you're you're kind of taking on this energy. Like you might be in Aries, or you might be surrounded by other people who are Aries. Maybe your boss is in Aries. Um, there's a lot of Aries energy around you right now, and it feels like there's something that's happening in your, uh, in your, in your social circle or your partnerships and alliances that you're going to need to triumph over, um, and you're going to need to kind of steer away from the chaos and clear your mind. It just feels like right now is a time for you to kind of, like, figure out, um, why you are having such a reaction to what's going on around you because whatever you're reacting to that's going on around you it really has to do with like what internally you need to work on in order for you to not have a negative reaction in the future so definitely make sure that you are kind of taking some time for yourself right now looking inward and figuring out like what it is that you need to overcome right now there's definitely something. It feels like you're just not quite yourself right now. Something is bugging you. I want to say like situations are bugging you right now. Um, in the middle of October, it looks like you're either going to gain your footing in or uh, there's, there are two different ways to interpret this card. The King of Pentacles. One is you are the King of Pentacles, so you're coming into a power full position so maybe um at the beginning of the month you're like feeling as though other people are like battling against you right competition maybe and then maybe in the middle of the month you're going to feel as though like you are now getting a leadership position so maybe this is at work 
um, there's some sort of power position that is going to come up for you. Um, and you're going to feel like, like you, like you, you got exactly what you, you worked hard for. Um, you're going to feel as though you are in a really good position. Um, and if this is not the case, this card represents that you're going to meet someone who is going to influence you in a positive manner. This person is going to be like have their have their stuff together. They're going to like know um, how to handle finances. They're going to know how to um, be like a catalyst for change in other people's lives. They are a leader. They are someone who is powerful, right? Um, so definitely this could be you or this could be someone that you're going to meet in the middle of October. They will have an influence on you or you will have an influence on other people. Either way we look at it. At the end of October, there's kind of a warning here. So we have the King of Swords, but we have the King of Swords reversed. So it would be cool if you had the King of Pentacles, which is like master of finances and money and like stability and then you're moved into the king of swords which is like the master of like logic and like uh thinking with your head over your heart and like you would just be in such a good position but it's reversed so it's telling me that don't let all this power get to your head make sure that you're staying level-headed make sure that you are staying in a position where you are able to really get along with other people and um Navigate your social environment in a way that is uh, respectful and of others and respectful of yourself, honestly. Um, it just feels like like there, there are some like decisions that you will have to make um, at the end of the month and you want to make sure that you are, are using your, your head in a logical way to, to do so. Like you, you want to make sure that you are making decisions that are... Um, not only going to benefit you but the people around you so this is if you are the person in the powerful position okay if you are not this person and this is someone that you meet then this card can represent you deciding to maybe maybe deciding something about your relationship with this person because we have movements choices and decisions here and the uh, the King of Swords is a very, like, decisive person. Um, he, he knows exactly what he wants, right? Or in this case, she. Um, the King of Swords knows exactly what they want. If it's reversed, then they don't know what they want, okay? So this is going to be a time of indecision for you, where you're going to be feeling a little bit, like, left in the dark. You're going to be feeling a little bit confused. It feels like... You really are going to need to take a time this month to take a step back and determine what it is that you want out of life. Like, what is it that is driving you? What is it that um, makes you feel content and happy with yourself? Because it, it just feels like there... It feels like this month you're not really being your truest self. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like there's like this facade or this mask that you're wearing to other people. And, um, and you really, you have to realize that you don't need to wear that mask. Um, you need to be your genuine true self, but you also need to know who that is first. So I would say this is the month for introspection. And it, there, there is a lot of, um, relationship, uh, not issues, but relationships in general that's coming up in this reading and the last reading. And I, I do believe that's because of our full moon in Aries. Um, but I would say examine your relationships, examine yourself, and just make sure that you're in a in a positive place um, to make good decisions using logic. Using logic. Okay. All right. So moving on to November, we had in October we're leaving you off with um, some decision that you have to make, and you have to make this decision using your logic and not using. Um, like your emotions, not it's not an emotion based decision. It's a logical decision that you are making for your greatest and highest good. So now moving into November, at the beginning of the month, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. So we're still in the reverse sword, which means you're still in a position where um, you're not really feeling comfortable. It feels as though you are. Um, you you have to make this decision at the end of October, and then. At the beginning of November, you're like, I am just super impatient and I want 
all of my answers right now. Like, I want the answer to my decision to just come to me. But it's like, you need to do the inner work and you need to figure out what, how you're going to solve whatever is coming up for you in a manner that is um, realistic and practical. It just feels like practicality and uh, is something that is really going to need to like come um, into play here for you. It feels as though you are going to need to ground yourself here. It just feels like um, there's a little bit of like chaos uh, surround like surrounding this reading here in the November, the middle of the month here. Sorry, the beginning of the month of November. So we've accelerated motion. Know that things are going to pick up. Things are going to happen. Don't be impatient. And just let divine timing uh, come into play. There's a lot of just like needing to surrender here. When you get to the, the beginning of November, you need to surrender to the universe. You need to let go. Um, do some inner work. Figure out where all of this impatience is coming from. And uh, move on. It's time to it's time to move on. Uh, so yeah, and and with this impatience, and not surrendering to the divine, surrendering to the universe, you're going to find yourself trapped. You're going to find that you're putting yourself in a cage. Literally, you are trapping yourself in a place where you know where the key is. You could totally set yourself free. But you're stuck there. You're stuck there because you don't realize that you can let yourself free. So the impatience that you're feeling at the beginning of November based on whatever decision you have to make in October is really going to leave you feeling very anxious, feeling very um, fear driven just in general. Like you're just going to you're, you're going to be like very stuck in your head. Um, very bound by your insecurities and the, the fact is that if you just surrender like I'm saying let go and and don't think about it don't think about the decision anymore just kind of go with the flow of life then you will see that you can set yourself free and once you do set yourself free this is a really good card this is a really good card for you we have the sun okay all things in the dark come to light when the sun comes out. The sun represents like pure bliss, happiness, vibrance, joy. And this is because you have surrendered. You've broke yourself free from your own self-imposed anxieties and fears. And you're now, you're going to be in a place where you are genuinely happy. And that's great. So we have healing here. So uh, November is a month of healing for you. Just like healing your, your inner self, your inner child. Um, any like past traumas or past uh, fears that you're still holding on to, uh, you're, you're, you're going to be letting go, okay? We also have family. So maybe there's some inner work that you need to be doing surrounding family. Maybe there is um, some past family issues that, that come up for you right now and uh, you have to deal with it. It feels like there's something um, surrounding family and you know what it means to you that needs to be uh, worked on, I would say, in the month of November. But November is a month of healing for you and it's going to turn out really well. It's just going to be really difficult at the beginning of the month. Um, moving on to December. Okay, so December we have the Eight of Wands, great card. So you're still kind of in this happy, joyous, joyous uh, place. The Eight of Wands represents like forward, action forward movement and uh just moving in the right direction and this card is just like such a good card because it tells me that you're leaving the past behind you're letting things go you're surrendering to the divine you're no longer trapped or stuck in your head at least in this moment um you're doing really well uh, mentally there's mental clarity here we have truth right so you're you're kind of letting um all the dark parts, remember, the in the sun, come out to life and you're you're facing the truth about yourself and you're you're working on yourself um in December and it, there's a lot of just like feeling like I literally have like butterfly feeling right now. Just like it feels just really happy. And then we have harmony. Like you're in harmony with yourself, you're in harmony with others. Um you're no longer feeling 
uh, as though you need to prove yourself to people because that mask that you felt that you were wearing at the beginning of October now is going to come off and you're, you're finally going to be like able to show yourself and, and really um, accept who you are and love yourself. That's kind of what I'm feeling here, which is great. Um, and then we have the moon reversed. Um, okay, so the moon reversed, there's a shift that's going to happen. So you're feeling really happy, you're feeling as though you've discovered your truth, um, you're feeling as though you can be yourself, but then something shifts. You start to question yourself again. You start to be a little bit confused and you're like, can I trust myself? Is my intuition leading me in the right direction? Um, am I really in a good place? Or am I just avoiding things? It feels like you're just like in this like state of confusion and you're just, uh, you're questioning yourself. You're kind of going back to the Eight of Swords. I think that's why I said, at least for now, earlier. Um, you're going back to here where you're kind of like, you're, you're keeping yourself locked up again, but you're not quite there. It's like you're just questioning it. You're not here yet, but you're, you could get here if you if you really like push yourself and uh, bring yourself to this dark place. Um, there There's really going to be a point where you are going to, to need to just like, like trust yourself and keep surrendering. Just keep telling yourself mind over matter. Uh, push the ego aside. Um, really just like become in touch with who you are um as a spiritual being and just like you will overcome it you will overcome all of your all of the hard work sorry all of the uh insecurities and all the fears and anxieties that are keeping you um in a in a state of just like um perpetual overwhelming sadness that you impose on yourself um towards the end of december Things are looking better. Things are looking good for you. We have recognition and reward. It's To me, this is like you recognizing that you put in a lot of hard work over the past couple months, and it's time for you to really believe and trust in yourself. That's what this card represents to me. This card represents you finally coming into yourself and like accepting that the mask is off, right? So we have strength here as your final card. Right before New Year's, you will tap into your strength. And tapping into your strength means that you are finally trusting yourself and you are finally like realizing that you are a great person. You have put in a lot of work to get to where you are at. Um, you're no longer hiding under this mask of like a power hungry person, um, being around people who are manipulative or not serving you. I feel like you're really gonna come into yourself and that, that this, this is the year of transformation, 2020. It really is the year that we're making big life decisions, big choices, and uh, making these huge strides into becoming a more enlightened individual. I hope everyone's on this process. I think I think everyone's here because everyone I talk to is kind of like working on themselves, right? We had uh, some quiet time to ourselves to really figure out what it is that we want out of life. And um, that's why this year is a year of transformation. And... I really see the next couple of months coming together for you and you're going to you're going to be really happy with the result the end result but I would say just work on figuring out who you really are right now because there's a there's something that you're that you're holding on to and as I'm saying that I just pulled this card for you what do you need to release what is it from your past that you need to release in order to move forward and to be happy there's there's so, and I say this all the time, but there's so much comfort in being unhappy, and that sounds super weird, but there is, because we're so used to it, right? Like, I was depressed for 26 years. Well, okay, fine. 23. I wasn't depressed when I was three. But, um, sorry. Um, yeah, and I, I didn't want to change. I was like, I don't want to go through this spiritual growth process, because... I don't want to be one of those like happy go lucky my life is perfect people. Um but it's not even about that. It's not about that at all. And I will talk about my spiritual growth process in a future video, so please watch it. Um but yeah, it's just like you you kind of have to make yourself uncomfortable to get comfortable and uh that's that's where we're at right now. We're at the very like uncomfortable 
point where we have to put in a lot of work on our on ourselves in order to like to get to a place of, of happiness and, and real pure bliss. Okay. Affirmation card. Sorry, I get really into this, so I hope I'm not talking too fast, but this is really exciting for me. <laughs> so we have, um, the universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately toward the highest good. So just know the universe is not out to get you. The universe wants to work with you, but you need to raise your vibrations to match the universe. And when you do so, you will see that you will be so much happier, things will start to fall into place, and you will find that you no longer need to wear a mask, and honestly, like, you'll be in a, like, a much better place. A much, much better place. So I really, really appreciate you watching this. If you would like to see more uh, videos like this and get more collective readings, then um, please like and subscribe. If this resonated with you, please type a comment down below and um let me know which other type of readings you want to know about if you're interested in a private reading i do offer private readings you can message me on instagram at the spiritual goth and um yeah i hope to see you guys in a future video